All right. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the sat position. Pull gently at first. All right, and then go. Oh, fuck yeah, the sat booty. Oh, this is awesome, I'm doing it. Bang it the other way. I'm the sat man. <laughs> what a nice way to end the flight. This is the Jin Carve. The Jin Carve is the latest wing in that class of slalom wings, like the Doberman 2, the Free Ride, the Viper 4, the stuff the cool kids ride. And what makes the, <laughs> this kind of cool to me is, well, to take a step back, there are people that care about me. Eric Farewell, Shane Denherter, sometimes Matt Minyard, who say, Woody, don't fly this wing. This is not the wing for you. But more recently, they've been saying, Woody, you're ready. Take her for a spin. It'll be fun. That's exciting to me. I feel like I just turned 21 years old. Like, you know, hey, you can't go to the bar. All this time, all the cool kids, all my friends, they're going to the bars constantly. Now, I'm 21 times two and plus two. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Jin Carve. I've flown the free ride before. I'm not sure I'll make a video on it. I looked at the footage today and I, I wasn't in love with what I did. Uh, I might make a free ride video. I'll, hopefully you'll see this car video. And I'm excited to fly it. It's 20 meters. It's really, really agile. You pull the brake, it goes nuts on you and it's a good time. This is actually my second flight on it. I flew it again, I flew it two days ago, but it was super turbulent, the air was a mess. I might expand on that later, but for now, let's go flying. You ready for this? Here we go. Huh, check the motor. So I've seen this before actually. My on off switch is off. Uh, I think what that means, I installed a new reserve chute recently and, ooh, need to fix that too. I installed a new reserve chute and it routes through this bridle and this, when you carry it up, has the possibility of switching the switch off. And I used to have a zip tie there to stop that from happening, and I thought I didn't need it because I did such a good job, but I guess I need it, so I'm gonna do that and come back. There we go. This zip tie will solve the problem and keep things away from that switch. Someday I'm gonna relocate that switch and put it somewhere I can reach, but for right now, let's go flying. Jin Carve. So, one of the first things I want to throw out there is that when I review this wing, it's from the perspective of a pilot who just got ready to fly this kind of wing. I, I almost feel like a 21 year old doing a fine wine review. Like, yeah, it'll get you drunk. I took this up two days ago and it was bumpy out. It was bumpier than I expected. I probably wouldn't have chosen this class of wing for that kind of bump. And the whole time, active piloting. This wing, it, I don't know, I don't think it oscillates a cruise. At full power, it kind of does. What happens is, if you get to oscillating, you know, you're, you're going back and forth, those oscillations, if you go hands up, rather than go away, they, they kind of escalate. You have to fix them. If you do what I do, which is fly hands free a lot, you know, you, something is always kicking off an oscillation in bad weather. There's always some turbulence, some gust, some something. So I had to active pilot this wing the entire time. I think my Speedster 2 would have just been fine with that kind of turbulence. As a matter of fact, I know it would. I've, I've flown the Speedster 2 in, in a lot of bad weather. 
it's a cross country wing, whereas this is a slalom wing. If I want to get over the wing, this guy is begging for it. If I want to get over the wing on the Speedster 2, it'll do it, all wings will do it, but it'll make you work for it a little bit compared to this guy <laughs> where you have to tell it to slow down. <sighs> Again, coming from a guy who's just recently ready to fly this class of wing, I feel like if you get it, don't sell your old one. You probably want that wing too. Uh, there will be days where you want to fly, but you don't want like your question mark rated super speedster slalom wing. There are, not every flight is out there to rip it up. Some flights are cross country. Some flights are just joy rides. This wing is for ripping it up. So let's gain some altitude and check that out. What we're gonna do right now is get jiggy with it. You guessed it. I think to the right, it's my milder side. We'll start there. Oh yeah. Gosh darn. Ah, she goes big. And what you don't know is I'm barely trying. Like, wow. It's, it's a lot to adjust to. I, I, I was just about to say it's too much, but I feel like future me will be embarrassed by that. Yep. But boy, oh boy, like it takes nothing to get big. And like the, the unspoken part of that is you're a step away from too big. You know, it's one wrong input and you're where you didn't mean to go. Whereas my more mild wings, I, I have four wings and they're all more mild than this one. If I pull a little too much, there isn't really that big a difference between that and what I you know, was trying to do. I'm still fine. With this wing, I can ask for more than I'm ready for. So it's right there. It's just something to, to keep in your head when you're flying it. I'm a rookie on this wing. I should be taking it easy. But who could resist this, really? <laughs> This is so awesome! Good times! It's a little tight. Oh damn. It's not tight at all on this wing. I used half of that. some more cool stuff. This time to the left maybe. Do some practice. So, 
I think from this perspective, you guys can't tell how big I'm going. Like, it, it, it maybe looks like, if you watch all my videos, every other asymmetric spiral I've ever done. But I can tell. And that was big. Like, I, I'm going so huge on this wing so fast, it's giant. And then even hitting my own wake, it was like, whoa! You know, the Speedster rocks through your wake without thinking twice about it. Uh, this one, you know, it thinks twice. On top of that, at the very end of it, I intended to sort of spiral out. It kind of wanted to keep turning. And that happened to me on my last flight too. I was doing an asymmetric spiral and it kind of locked into a round spiral. I didn't even mention it online, but someone else who flew this wing said the same thing. They said, you have to tell that wing to stop turning. It wants to turn so much. And that's true. You have to hit the outside brake and get out of that round spiral. Look, this is a hot wing. It doesn't have training wheels on it. And I'm used to wings that do. So uh, uh, it's not that I'm not ready for it. You know, both times I you know, pull the outside brake and out of the round spiral. I learned this in SIV training. I've learned this in experience. In and out of training, I've done this. Uh, but still, you know, most wings that I've flown, if I go hands up, they'll tend to take you out of trouble. It's not the right response to every situation, but it's the right response to more than half. On this wing, if you go hands up, that's not right. You have to fix it and you have to know how to fix it. So uh, that just happened there. I had to know how to get out of that spiral because it wasn't doing it without me. It's not a beginner's wing. Gin carve, you know, <laughs> you gotta know what you're doing. I'm having fun with it, that's for sure. But I, I you gotta know what you're doing. I've got more to say, but not much altitude. <laughs> Okay, so when I flew this wing two days ago in bad air, I wasn't sure I wanted to fly it again. It was just constant work and a little bit scary. When I'm flying it now in good air, I'm not sure I want to give it back because it's a blast and I feel like I'm just a few hours from being like not scared of how turny it is and real appreciative of how turny it is right just a couple hours away from getting to there again if you're me it, i am a about 185 hour pilot i've had a couple siv courses a tiny amount of free flight experience and instruction that's who i am i wanted a wing in this class free ride car viper etc doberman 2 when I wasn't ready for it. Now that I'm flying it, I'm thankful to the Eric Farewells and Shane Denherters of the world who said, no, Woody, that's not right for you because it wasn't. I thought I needed this wing to learn to get jiggy with it. And that's not the case. Yeah, you can do that on a Mojo or Muse or Charger, whatever it is you're flying. But this does make you go big fast, bigger than you might want to. And it, just trust me on it. You know, if, if you don't fly a lot, this, this probably isn't the one you want. And I mentioned in bad weather, I wasn't sure I wanted to fly it again. Tucker Gut flies a free ride, which is a, a wing in the same class. It's his everyday wing. I think it's his only wing, actually, if you don't count Jacqueline's mojo. Maybe when you get to that level of proficiency, it's the only thing you want. I'm not 100% sure. But at my level of proficiency, this is a fair weather wing. That's my take on it. All right. I'm going to do some wing overs, and then I'm going to bring it home. I'm a little nervous because it's such a hot wing. But let's see how this goes. It doesn't take long at all. Wow. <laughs> God damn. Jesus, that's big. I'm gonna pull later. Wow! Alright. Oh, oh, wow! Those wingovers were awesome! Oh. 
man, she likes wingovers. Those were huge, and they were mostly good. I mostly did, you know, nice 180s, and uh, if I got off, I was able to get back to the 180s I was looking for. Controlled, but wowzers. Like, <laughs> big, big, super big. All right, now we are going to hit our landing and then uh, do painkiller nearly. I'll just put it in on the other side of the driveway, call it good. <laughs> ah, you're chasing me. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> uh, I should have read backwards more. Anyway, that was an awesome flight. You've got a little extra footage because I have a little more to say. I flew this and I flew the free ride. And I don't feel qualified to tell you which is the better wing. Earlier, I described myself as that 21-year-old wing connoisseur. You know, it'll get you drunk. That's how I feel still. I have maybe five hours on this class of wing between the Gin Carve and the Ozone Freeride. They're hot. They're hot wings. During the time I flew them, the situation got to be a little less of, oh my God, there's a lot there. It, you know, it might give you more than you asked for to, oh yeah, there's a lot there. You know, when you ask for it, it has it. I imagine that's how it's like to own a really high performance sports car. At first, you're not ready for the thing. It's trying to kill you. And then as you get more experience, more time, and you know what you're doing, it's going to entertain you. And then you are the right guy for it, right? Just, just like a hot sports car. That's where I went with this wing. And it's a blast. I didn't want to give it back, really. I had to ship it on to the next guy. <sighs> you know, I, I've got a hotter wing in my future. I'm sure of it. But for right now, Ah, man, I just, I miss my time with her. Look at this. I'm killing it. <laughs> um, I started doing barrel rolls. I hadn't done barrel rolls really before the Gin Carb. Now I can do them on my Speedster too. It was just a little easier. And it was like, I got it. I started like understanding how barrel rolls work. And then I could apply it to the Speedster too, which is in my opinion, a harder wing to do barrel rolls are. The 24 meter Speedster too. Um, on the Gin Carb, I was doing subsequent like double barrel rolls two in a row and I wasn't able I haven't done that on the speedster two yet it might be possible but I haven't pulled it off I didn't try sadding this wing I was a little nervous around it maybe I'd try it today but I didn't try it when I had it awesome wing fun class of wing but you need to be ready for it Multi-million dollar deals, got a million dollar deal When I was younger, I would wonder how a million dollars feel And for real, it feel like I ain't even broke a seal Cause when you drive hits, they want you to pick up the bill Now my life is in Maryland, my heart is in Chicago New York state of mind, but out LA, man, that's where I go When I need to lay this shit down So much on my mind, that's the reason I'm spitting now